Hello guys, Hansi here and today I'm back with another project and as you can see I'm in a quite new environment today that's because I'm in our new apartment and this is my new office. I have my own little editing rig right here and another DIY space over there for basic electronics and stuff. It's quite nice, Martina has her own office on the other end of the apartment, which is also really great. But as you can hear, there's quite a lot of reverb and echo going on in this room. What I'll be doing today is to make some acoustic panels that I can hang on the wall that will hopefully help deaden the echo, the reverb a little bit and just make this a more pleasant space to be in and record videos in. It's going to be a quite quick build and I know it's been done a couple of times before but I just want to put my take on it out there and please let me know what you think in the comments and let's just jump straight into it. The first step was going to the hardware store to get the required materials. We didn't need an awful lot, but I needed some <laughs> 2x1s to make the frame. I didn't want them too thick, but hopefully they are thick enough. The real challenge here is to find the straight wood, because it's not exactly quality stuff here. Here's what we'll do to make the acoustic panels. First we have to build a wooden frame, and then we have to fill that frame with some stone wool. Or no, rock wool is the name. So right now you can see me cutting the lengths that I need to create the frames and they are respectively 70 and 150 centimeters and that's about 28 inches and 60 inches. I finished all the frames, I got them behind me here, and I'm gonna make them more rigid by adding these angle brackets. Using these metal angle brackets is just a super simple way to reinforce the weak butt joints I made before. This project is more about speed than it is about elegance, as I am making so many. And yeah, I am making some for Martina as well. So I finished all of the frames, the last thing I did was to add this cross beam in the middle of all of them and this is because we are going to add some fabric in the end and that will be stretched outside the frame and it's gonna add some pressure inwards and I don't want the frame shape to change over time so the beam is there to prevent that. The next thing I'm going to do is to add some rock wool. I'm gonna wrap the rock wool in plastic so that I don't have to breathe any rock wool particles while they are hanging on the wall and the final thing I'll do is to wrap it all in some fabric. I've got some fabric here, this is one millimeter thick felt fabric, it's a grey fabric, I think that will look great inside this room. Of course you could go crazy here, you could choose all kinds of fabric. Martina has chosen something quite different, which I will show you at the end of the video, how they turn out. But for now we're gonna apply this, I'm gonna use a little nail gun to attach these. I have four more frames, I think actually I could use a couple more in here. But I have four for now and then we'll check whether or not that improved the echo or the reverb inside this room.
I have basically finished the acoustic panels, but I haven't really put them on the wall yet and that's because I want to take a reference audio clip to be able to compare the reverb before and after I put the acoustic panels on the wall. So that's what I'll be doing now and I'll just find a spot which I'll remember for after I put them on the wall and I'll stand there and try to make the exact same sound and claps. It's not gonna be super scientific but hopefully just give us a rough idea whether or not it has helped at all. And I'm gonna put some tape on the floor. Oh, this is where I'll sit. Boop! Test! One. Okay, I think we got it. Now we can put the acoustic panels on the wall and then we'll do a comparison. So I did a couple of recordings before we put the acoustic panels on the wall, now I have done some recordings afterwards and I'm here in Audacity and we're just gonna compare the different tracks one by one. So first let's listen to the one where I had not put the acoustic panels on the wall yet. Test! Hello! Beep. So you can very much hear the reverb there and this is the one after. Test! Hello! Beep! I think there's quite a bit of difference there. Let's listen to where I say test. Test! That's before. Test! And that's after and that's quite a big difference there. I really like that and also I can really just feel it when I'm in the room talking like this. It's just a lot more comfortable speaking in here now because the sound is a bit softer and more deadened. We'll just go through the last clips, uh, the last audio clips one by one, just for you to hear. Hello. That's before. Hello. And that's after. Beep. That's before. Beep. And that's after. I don't think there's any question that the audio is better afterwards, so I think we can call this a success. Before we take a look at Martina's acoustic panels and take a closer look at mine, I just want to say a big thank you to our patrons for being there and supporting us. And if you want to support us, then check the link in the description. Now let's take a look at the final acoustic panels.